Restaurants nationwide have been hit hard economically with this brutal winter. News Channel 5's Dave Arnold visited Tremont today and found while it's been a tough few months for customers there, this is their busy season for rib sticking, warm comfort food. Relentless this year. Prepping for a restaurant lunch hour this winter means outside duty as well as in. In Tremont, Sokolowski's University Inn. Terrible. A stick to your ribs meal is ready to go, but this morning's weather found the early lunch crowd sparse, even with an inviting fire awaiting cold bones. We got stuffed cabbage, we have potato custard cod, we have liver and onions, which is a special, pierogies as always, bratwurst, kobasi. You get the idea. It's not like the food is the problem today, and it's not the character here built on 91 years of service. What kind of brother takes off today? Yeah. <laughs> A smart one in this weather. Michael Sokolowski, his brother Bernie, and sister Mary have a following. People love their food and this family. They've weathered winters before. Uh, this has been a rough one. Nothing can compare to 77, 78. But this has been a pretty uh, relentless one. I think everyone would agree. But it doesn't take long for a cold crowd to come on in. Bernie, Mary, and Mike have treated me very well over the years. My family comes down here. No matter what the weather is, we still come out here. Doesn't bother me. It's well worth it. The Heimke family took advantage of a Rocky River school snow day. I think this is about the sixth storm that we've been through, so I think we're uh, experts at, at dealing with it and driving through it. So we said, let's go down to Sokolowski's and have some lunch. It was all going great, and then the lights went out. You know, my mom and dad always taught us you give, it'll come back to you tenfold, and we've been blessed. On your side in Cleveland, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. NCR, a business watch group, says 46% of U.S. adults have canceled or rescheduled entertainment plans because of the weather in the past three months.